This video is a close-up view of some of the major elements of the formwork for the concrete frame. The formwork model has a great deal of detail, but it doesn't have every clamp and fitting. This gives you some idea of how complex these formwork systems are. First of all, there's the floor structure for the formwork system. This includes the guard rails and the adjustable sides of the beam form. Note the rebar in the beam form being put into place. The underpinning for the work platform includes the joists, spars, and main beams similar to those found on the formwork for the raised slab on the floor below. These adjustable props are braced like scaffolding and either set on the concrete on a piece of wood called a sleeper or on mud sills outside the foundation. The sleepers and the mud sills distribute the weight of the formwork over the concrete or soil like a temporary spread footing. Because the formwork is a system, these individual pieces are put together in different combinations for every project. They're assembled into gangs for the beams and for the intersections, so they can be flown into position with the tower crane. Workers lower the gang over the columns and clamp or bolt it into place to both the column and the beam forms. Moving an assembly like this into position is a tricky operation, both in the assembly of the gang, uh, but also the lift of the crane, especially with rebar sticking out of the concrete that has already been poured rebar that's been omitted in this particular illustration. So the new formwork is attached to the concrete beams that have already been poured. This follows the sequence of pours for the columns in the previous phase. The concrete for the rest of the frame has a chance to cure in preparation for the hollow core decking that will be placed on these beams in the next operation. What may look like chaos then is really a coordinated effort. An effort that means understanding the time sequence of the formwork, rebar placing, the concrete pour, stripping, and then curing the concrete. The goal of a field manager is to complete the sequence as quickly and efficiently as possible, which means understanding field crews, labor time, material delivery, and the technology of concrete itself. 